People are smoking honey. Have you heard about this? Did you know about this? I really did not know about this until like a few months ago. Like I've maybe made some jokes about it, but I didn't think that people were actually smoking honey. No, I'm not talking about honey oil. I'm not talking about concentrate. I'm talking about actual honey. Like, have you ever went to roll something or pack something and you're like, Hmm, I need to grab the little plastic bear bottle filled with honey so I can sweeten up this sesh. People are actually putting honey on their flour. I've been asked about this a few times on my Twitch stream, but I really didn't think people were actually smoking honey. I also think I made some jokes about honey in a vape pen, but I think into looking into this, I learned that honey won't vaporize. It's just gonna caramelize or whatever. You're just gonna burn it. It's not really gonna vape in a vape pen, but you can smoke it. You can combust it, and people actually put it in like their blood blunts or their joints. I think it's really common in blunts. Now, looking into this, I found some like toxicology report that says that they use honey in tobacco and it doesn't really make it that much worse. I have found some information that says that it can be harmful and there are some issues with it. It does make some people cough a lot more. I'm not really sure, but like even if it's questionable, why are you adding honey to your flour? Why are you adding honey to your joints or your blunts? People are doing it to make it burn slower or last longer. Some people say it makes it sweeter. I think like shisha, like hookah tobacco uses honey or they use glycerin sometimes. So honey has been used before in things that you smoke, but like, do you think that you want to add any honey to your flour? Like I'd never look at a bowl that I'm getting ready to rip and I'm like, hmm, I wish that burned a little bit slower and was a little bit sweeter. Let me add some honey to it. It really seems like it's mostly blunt smokers. Like I, I looked up a bunch of articles. I, I looked at a lot of websites. Most of them were talking about how to put it in your blunt, how much to put it in your blunt, when to put it in your blunt. It all seemed blunt related. Like people aren't like packing a bowl and like, all right, put a little honey layer on top. It usually seemed like it was related to people that were using wraps, mostly blunts, because I guess it can help you make it sweeter and burn slower or whatever. That's another reason people like blunts. But I have one question for blunt smokers smokers around this topic like how much do you hate your weed that you have to wrap it in doo-doo paper and then stuff honey in the wrap to make it taste better like how bad do you hate weed like how nasty is it to you that you got to do so many things to the flavor to make it taste better like how bad is it for you like weed is so good like it's so good for me i take big rips i'm never like mm, that needed to taste better like how bad are the mids that you're getting like i don't understand why people are like i need to do all this stuff i need to add flavors i need to make it sweeter like how bad is the weed that you're getting i don't understand why you need to do any of this stuff to make it sweeter or whatever i don't know it seems wild to me Maybe the burn slower aspect, you want to smoke it longer, but now you're smoking honey and the honey doesn't get you high. There's no cannabinoids in the honey. Like you could put actual like concentrate. You could put honey oil, like THC oil in there and that'll make it burn slower, but that'll also add potency and make you higher. And you can even get like flavored stuff. Most distillates, people add distillate to their joint all the time. There's tons of flavored distillates out there. It literally seems so wild to me that somebody would put honey in their in their joint, in their blunt. I mean, are people putting it in their bowls? Have you ever smoked honey? If, you, if you're watching this video, leave me a comment and let me know. I literally have to know who smoked honey. Like, I didn't believe it at first. I thought it was like a couple of jokes and then I looked into it and then you find like a hundred tutorials on how to put honey in your blunt and you're like, oh my God, these people are serious. I just want to show you real quick. Just, I found this on one of the random websites. I laughed out loud, but it was like, can you smoke with an underlying health condition? It is critical to consult with a medical expert before you smoke honey if you have an underlying health condition. Like, you're gonna call your doctor and be like, Hey, yo, doc, I know I have a little bit of asthma, but I'm thinking about putting some honey in my blunts. Do you think that's okay? Like, is that a real conversation that's ever happened? Has anyone ever called their doctor and been like, yeah, I read on this website to, you know, make sure I call a medical professional before I squeeze that little bear bottle into my blunt. You think I'm good to go? Either way, I figured I'd talk about honey. That's been on the video list for a little while. I just, I really can't believe that people are doing it. I haven't seen it personally, but people are doing it. If you're trying to get high with me, come join me on Twitch for a smoke sesh. I go live after 9 p.m. Eastern. If you have Amazon Prime, you can support me for free. And if you want to learn some tips on how to get even higher, no, it doesn't involve putting syrups or honey in your joints. Check out this video right here. Some great tips on how to get even higher. Peace out, my dudes.